Hey everybody, it's Richard R. Motor Diag, and today we're having a look at a Vauxhall Vivaro van. And we've got the check emissions light and the little spanner and the engine management light on. Right, so we've just gone into it, and that's the diesel ECU that it's got. I have had a quick look at this just now. I caused this one. I just unplugged it just to see what was happening. And we've got airflow sensor low, which is what was originally in here. Now, if we come out, we can have a look at our live data. Uh, we search for air. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So it's disconnected at the minute. So we got 5 volts, and that's reading that. And then we got airflow not doing anything. Or oh, is it actually? It's doing a bit. Right, I'll go plug it back in. Right, so we'll plug back in. And we do have movement when we're revving it. 17 degrees, that's gone to 2.8. So that is moving. Sometimes, to be honest, I do not trust these. Hence why I just did a quick disconnect test there. See if it changed. I've had these Vivaros have a bit of a habit of uh, using substituted values. Right, so if we start it up again, the actual data, see that coming up, let's go find our, there we go, our mass airflow there, when I'm revving it, it's not doing anything, also that's at minus 40 which is a bit odd because we don't have a code for that. It's only the one that I created. So what we need to do is try and get some movement on this. So I believe someone has looked at this before and apparently the code does not clear. Uh, we can track just check that quickly. usual Bosch stuff. Right. So we'll return out of that and then we'll clear it. Engine not running. Memory was deleted. Straight back. I guess. We haven't got the management light but we still got the other light and it still says check injection so I'm more inclined to believe what the OBD is saying and it's just stuck down so we'll do a few tests under the bonnet right okay so this airflow meter is disconnected back here on the center two pins two and three it should be alive and enough see on the scope we got it up at 12 volts We've got a test light attached into the earth side of it if I touch it here, we're lighting up, so we've got good live and earth. Um, so we'll get it plugged in and we'll back probe it and see what the other two are doing. Okay, so we're on pin one and we have five volts, which is going to be air intake. Plug that back in and we drop down to two point something volts. Oh, it's not up on the screen there, which was about right from before. See if we can we've got that there on the top one and we'll get it started and see what it does. Alright, so on the airflow 
disconnected five volts connected when the probe doesn't fall out got the on off that's what it is running and I'll see if I can get someone to rev this and we'll see what it's doing so with that revving I'm not really seeing a change in airflow on that to be honest with you um, maybe we can put it into like the frequency mode see if we can get a difference Right, so back out onto the main screen, uh, let's go graphing, uh, frequency, so we are at just over 200 hertz there, and I will go and find someone again to try and uh, rev this up while we look at this screen. Right, in focus somehow, so we're still at 200 and if we rev it up a bit. We got absolutely no change there, so I think that's going to be our issue. Maybe we get a bit fancy and um, put a signal generator in there, see if we can get that to move and change the OBD reading. Right, so we've got the frequency generator on. We're probed into the airflow wire and an earth there. I've just got it back probed up onto the screen so you can see that it is making a frequency. We're still stuck at that 4.58, but now we were at about 200 hertz before, weren't we? So we can come up a bit, I don't know, we'll see if it changes, at, oh there we go, <laughs> so we've got change in frequency there, 3000, see if that changes, there we go, that. so we've got our change now, so we can be happy that uh, all the wiring back to the ECU is good. We do have a change on that um, airflow reading now, so I think we're going to make the good call of putting a mass airflow on this. Um, doesn't look ancient anyway, but it might just be a cheap, nasty one. Um, so yeah, we'll get that changed and hopefully that will resolve that. Cheers for watching guys, see you in the next one.